we're talking here with Philippe Papillon, who is working as a researcher uh, for the French Solar in uh, Research Institute, INES. Could you please explain what INES is and what you're doing? So INES is a national uh, French uh, research on uh, solar energy. And uh, INES was founded in 2005. And we are now approximately 300 people working at INES. And there is uh, four main topics. Uh, uh, so there is solar thermal, there is uh, solar PV, there is concentrated uh, solar power, and there is uh, energy efficiency in buildings. And, and you are working particularly on solar thermal, solar heating and cooling? Yes, uh, I am in, in charge of the activities of uh, uh, dealing with solar thermal uh, energy for heating and cooling uh, within Ines. And uh, I joined Ines at the beginning in 2005 in order to start this, uh, these activities. And we are now approximately 15 people working on the different field of uh, solar thermal. Could you give us some ideas of what kind of projects your team is involved in? So we have um, mainly four fields of uh, activities. The first one is dealing with system because we consider that uh, the system side is very important and it's not uh, only uh, the matter to put uh, together good component, but we have also to, to think about the system. So uh, approximately uh, um, 30 percent of our act activities is dealing on, uh, on the system side, system design, system testing and uh, mainly with, uh, together in collaboration with manufacturer. And when, when you're working on systems, that's, that's mo mainly focusing on improving the, the quality or the uh, effectiveness or uh, cost reductions. What, what is the main focus of your work there? The work is uh, mainly on uh, the uh, reduction of uh, auxiliary consumption and for sure on the reduction of the cost of solar energy. Okay, and you mentioned you have uh, four main topics, so that was one, the, the systems. So when you are working on system, uh, you can, uh, you can uh, find some way of improvement of, uh, on various components. And uh, so the three other activities are, deal are dealing with components. One activity is dealing with uh, collectors design and mainly uh, polymeric collector design since we think there is a potential for cost reduction using uh, new material and especially uh, polymeric materials. So this is the first uh, field. We have also some uh, activities on, on Chile uh, for solar cooling uh, because it's also a, a weak point of, uh, of uh, a solar cooling system. So we are working on absorption Chile. And uh, the uh, third one is on storage, and especially we have decided to work on thermochemical storage because we think that uh, it's the most promising way to go for interseasonal uh, storage. And you're doing field work there and trying out new new concept for uh, thermochemical storage. So uh, the the basic idea is uh, first to think about. Uh, uh, what could be a thermochemical storage uh, with simulation and then to go to prototyping uh, of the component and then it's very important to come back to the system to see the implication of uh, what you have done on the component level in order to integrate it in the, in the good way in, uh, in the system. And uh, at the moment we are on the process of having some pro to prototypes running on thermochemical storage uh, with uh, salt and uh, weight of vapor. What role, role do you see for solar heating and cooling in France in the future? I think uh, there is a huge potential, but uh, uh, as it has been already mentioned uh, uh, during this conference, we have to take care about quality and cost uh, since we solar heat is uh, at the moment too expensive to, to, to have a good uh, uh, dissemination in, in uh, all over Europe, but also especially in, in France. Mm -hmm. In France, uh, at the moment, uh, um, we have uh, our um, uh, national roadmap with the Grenelle de l'Environnement. And what we can see is in 2010, we have made only half of what was planned during the Grenelle de l'Environnement. So there is uh, to increase uh, different, uh, uh, to increase our effort, uh, 
both on the research side, uh, but also on training, on uh, uh, regulation, on uh, um, on information to the uh, to the end users. Uh, for example, for me, it's quite uh, incredible to see that uh, when a cost an uh, end user uh, want to buy a fridge. He has the energy labeling of the fridge. When he wants to buy a heating system for his house, he is not able to have the same. So we have to, to, to push all this uh, regulation in order to have more information to the end user. And I think it could be a good uh, opportunity to develop solar thermal. So a lot of work remaining. Thank you very much and uh, we wish you good luck for the work. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.